I've been working on the calendar gear. Um, I've just completed uh, milling out the spokes um, and now I'm about to use the diamond engraver to um, to put the calendar around the perimeter. There'll be the 365 tick marks and the months of the year. This is um, a piece of uh, blue anodized aluminum that I've uh, epoxied to a uh, eighth inch thick uh, regular piece of aluminum. Because when you're engraving through um, the anodization, uh, you get this really nice effect where it just scrapes away the color and uh, you know leaves the aluminum color beneath. Um, again, I'm using a diamond. The spindle is off. This is just drag diamond engraving. Um, but it gives a really, really nice effect. The long tick marks it did on the first pass were the first day of each month. It's now doing uh, spacing for every fifth day. And then when it's done with this, it'll go back and you know, fill in all the blanks with single day. It's been running for about 17 minutes now, and you can really get a, a good idea of what's going on here. You can see all the tick marks filling in. Uh, now we're filling in the names of the months. Um, this takes a lot longer because each individual line segment that the letter is broken down in has to be drawn, but um, it's certainly worth it. It, uh, it really is looking nice. I don't know if the camera is picking up all this detail, but um, I love working with a diamond engraver. You're seeing a lot of my fingerprints on the uh, on the gear right now. When this is all polished, though, it's really going to look sweet. And here's a uh, here's an idea of what the calendar gear will look like uh, when it's complete and mounted. Um, this isn't its final location, but this will give you an idea of um, how the calendar gear fits into the uh, the rest of the orrery. <laughs> 